It's been over four months since my last construction update, but I'm back with a brand new video on Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park. This new multi-million pound area was originally going to be opening on the 19th of May, but unfortunately due to the coronavirus, construction on the project has been delayed. Due to these setbacks, the opening has now been postponed until Easter of 2021. Work on the project has resumed once again, with the final details and rides being installed. Join me throughout this video as I'll be showing you the latest construction on this project. My name is Luke from Coast Connection and thank you for choosing to watch this video. In case you didn't know, Community Connections is a series I run on this channel which is dedicated to news and updates. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future announcements on your favourite UK theme parks. Storm Chaser is the new spinning roller coaster opening with the land and it was so close to doing its first test run just before lockdown happened. Both of the roller coaster trains are now on site and from what I've heard testing should hopefully start to happen within the next few months. Since my last update, the entrance sign for the coaster has been installed, uh, which looks great. It has a nice little roof over it, and from the looks of it, the wait time sign is going to be incorporated into a mailbox, which is a really nice touch. Buffalo Falls appears to be finished, so I'm just going to move on to the next attraction, which is Windmill Towers. The queue and ride entrance for this drop tower is now in place, and plenty of fencing has been installed around the ride for additional theming and landscaping. I've mentioned this multiple times before, but I just love the theming they've put on top of these drop towers. It adds some uh, great character to the whole land. The driving school attraction still has a lot left to do, however they have made a decent amount of progress since my last visit. All of the different roads for the attraction is now being laid out so that eventually concrete can be poured in. The outside portion of the queue has now also been added, which will give some great views of the cars whilst they drive by. You can now see the full-sized car within the indoor queue. Um, it's quite hard to see, but even from this quite restricted view, uh, it still looks great. The last thing I've noticed about this ride is that the raised walkway now has wood surrounding its structural supports, which helps it fit into the area much better. Most of the exterior work for Jesse's diner and Al's garage is now complete, with most of the work now happening inside. Obviously, I can't see what's going on inside the building, but recently some pictures and videos were posted online by the park, which showed some of the seats and tables within the diner. Just outside the building, more work has taken place on the fake telephone lines. Uh, this runs right throughout the land, past the cyclonator, and it appears to end near the tricking tractors. The area surrounding tricking tractors has now opened up more, which has allowed me to get some new angles of the attraction. Towards the end of the ride, you can see this new building they've built, and you can also see the tractors up close. The entrance sign for the ride is now on site, and will most likely be added to the ride very soon. Next to Tricking Tractors, there is a newly revamped food outlet. From what I've heard, it sounds like the park is trying to get this open for later this year. They've already put some of the seating outside ready for its reopening, and from looking inside, it looks almost ready. The last two rides I haven't talked about yet is the Cyclonator and the Rio Grande Train. Unfortunately, I can't see these rides from the construction fence, so I'm afraid I don't have any updates. I hope you enjoyed that quick little update on Tornado Springs, I'd love to know down below in the comments what new ride you're looking forward to the most. For me, it's probably going to be between the Cyclonator and Storm Chaser. My name is Luke from Coast Connection and I'll see you in my next video.